Man Diego and Tyson, trail natives. You often see them when you go to Kaminko Arena. They've been in the league for a long, long time, and uh, a very good pulse of the game, very good sense, and now that pucks up and in off a stick from the left wing side. 38 seconds into this opening period, and it's Owen Simpson from the left wing side that put a puck toward the goal and it went off of a Warrior stick and passed Zoll on the glove side. And it's Penticton that strikes first early in this game and leads 1 0. Just put to the front of the net from the left wing by Simpson and goes off a stick and caroms up and over the glove side of Zoll. Simpson, Josh Dadoa will start his way back out through center. Had that puck stripped away. Duclair tries to come away with it. Loose in the neutral zone and collected up there by Josh Dadoa. Fed it to the right wing. Bradley Dadoa, rock in front. Tinley a shot stop. Rebound scores. Jackson Neuendijk right in front on a centering pass by Bradley Dadoa. Had his first shot stopped by Zoll. His second opportunity pushes it past on the blocker's side. And it's the V's that jump ahead 2 to nothing on Jackson Neuendijk's marker. And he picks up his 17th goal of the season. Boy, a chance at one end for West Kelowna on the opportunity for Ben Strobel. The May gets around the check of Norcross. The puck comes back out to center. Hopkins on the right wing side. Forced it ahead. It's popped up in the air just outside the blue line. McDonald tried to take it. He gave it away. Smith back in front. Scores. <laughs> Billy Norcross at the side of the goal on a pass in front by Spencer Smith. And the Bees have scored three times in the opening nine minutes of this game and lead it three to nothing. So Norcross collects his eighth goal of the season after a giveaway inside of the defensive zone by West Kelowna. Bobby May will just wrist this back out through to center and chipped all the way ahead there by the V's inside of the Warriors zone. Uh, that will, thought was going for an icing. I thought I heard someone say icing and apparently Noah Laframbois did too because he gave the puck away behind the net or Bobby May that was. And a wraparound attempt, Zoll made the save on, and the Bees will start back onto it inside of their own end. Thought I heard someone say ice there, and apparently no one did, and that was almost a free opportunity. Now a chance right side to Graves, backdoor pass scores. <laughs> Brett Morvick on the left wing side. Found a pass from the right from Nick to Graves and buried it past Angelo Zoll on the blocker's side. And the Bees have opened up a four to nothing lead here in the first period with a power play goal. Right in the go down low, here's Josh Dino left circle back for Bradley, left wing half board. Slid it back in front, tipped just wide by Josh Dino. Suny of right wing corner. Left it along, Josh across, Bradley, what a stop. Angelo Zoll got across on the blocker side and made a terrific backdoor save. SUNY of right circle to the slot of shot scores. Josh Dano from the slot buries a pass the blocker side of Zoll and a five nothing lead for Penticton. Still with 626 to go in the first period. Josh Dadoa's 25th goal of the season. That'll be it for Angelo Zoll. He's done for the night. Jackson Neuendijk on the right side of that. Cut off by Duclair. In the middle now is Moriello. Cutting down the left wing side. Stopping up. He's one on five in the defensive end. Or in the offensive end as he'll throw it down below the goal line. Given up by Penticton. Here's Moriello delaying to the backhand in front scores. Jaden Moriello's got his 20th goal of the season as he deked around to Pasco, puts it in past the blocker side. And a 5 1 game now with a 118 to go in this opening period as Moriello gets the marker. Turnover by Penticton, deep inside of their own zone. 
And the Warriors get to it, and it's Boriello who shows off his strong hands, going from his backhand to his forehand, sliding it past the blocker side of Luca DePasco. Pushed up the left wing side, and thrown back out through to center now, where Josh Deneau will carry into the offensive zone. Right circle shot, glove stopped by Hamming. Rebound pushed below the goal line, and centering pass back in front was knocked away. Played ahead by Laframbois with 15 seconds to go here in this opening period. And thrown up on the right wing side. Here's Suniev cutting down the right wing. Gets around Laframbois to the net. He scores. Idar Suniev down the right wing side. Cut past Laframpois on the right wing. And battling there with a V's forward and Spencer Smith. Who tries to come away with the puck. A healthy battle between those two. Comes up the boards on the left wing side. Nelson couldn't find the handle. Long shot tipped in. Hopkins let it go from the blue line and Spencer Smith deflects it in. His eighth goal of the season and the V's lead seven to one. So Spencer Smith, a, nurse, a Mercyhurst commit, finds the back of the net on a tip from a Ryan Hopkins shot. Josh Dienermeyer, Frank Juricevic will get it ahead through the center on the right wing side. Norcross making his way in across the blue line. Right circle feed back in front scores. Beanie Richter right in front. Finishing off a nice feed from Spencer Smith. And the Bees lead eight to one. Two forty six into this third period. Beanie Richter is fifth goal of the season. Moriello back with a left wing. Dropped it off there for McDonald. Just out of the reach of Devlin. We'll go back for it below the goal line. Around the boards it goes on the right side. Norlam right half board with it here. Played it down below the goal line. A centering pass by Devlin. Picked off by Gibault. Trying to work the puck up the wall on the right side. Picked off. Moriello into the middle. Here's McDonald. He scores. Ben McDonald on a nice feed from Moriello. Goes forehand, backhand over the glove side of DePasco. And Ben McDonald picks up his 18th goal of the season. A power play marker for the Warriors to make it eight to two. So McDonald the goal, Moriello will garner an assist and a two point night for Jaden. Moriello left circle to the net, just speared it wide. Comes back along right wing, two seconds to go. McDonald put it back in front. Devlin one last attempt and the buzzer sounds. As the Warriors fall to the Penticton V's tonight by a final score of eight to two. Two points in the game for Jaden Moriello, but it was not enough as the V's score six first period goals, which really helped them in the long run to the victory in this one. The final score tonight, Penticton eight and West Kelowna, we will